Hello there. Welcome to Ferguson's Frying Pan. Uh, what is your full SCA name and title, please? SCA name is Yehuda of Nuremberg, Baron Ord of Pelican. Okay. And what is your occupation in the 21st century? 21st century, I'm an automation systems uh, support for software company for broadcasting industry. Okay. And how did you find the SCA? In 1985, I stumbled into a place called Funny Fellows. And in the back room, there was a real strange player who played dozens of stringed instruments and watched them played and met some people who there were regulars. And they invited me to sit down. Um, it was Iosis of Loxley. And the people I got to meet were Air Angus McCall and now Admiral Alex. Mm -hmm. And they invited me to fighter practice. I showed up at a fighter practice on a Sunday in 1980, probably end of 1984. And they invited me in, and I never left. And what medieval or fantasy-related movie would you recommend and why? Medieval-related movie. Or fantasy-related. Fantasy-related. None of the fantasy ones. Medieval-related movie. You know what? Believe it or not, although it's, it's by our standards this day, it's a bit hokey. Uh, Robin Hood. Errol Flynn's Robin Hood is one. Okay. Because, although, again, it's a bit hokey in many regards, it does hold the high ideal of, of honor and chivalry which is one of the things that we stand by. And that is one of the first things that many people see that, that drew you to that time period. And what medieval or fantasy-related book or book series would you recommend? And just to let you know, the questions get a little tougher after this. A series. Um, and you know what a good one is? The Wizard Compiled, the Wizard books. Rick Cook's Wizard Compiled, whatever taking a guy from the modern day, putting him back there and back and forth. So it's real back and forth of the anachronistic of the whole thing, putting him in a fantasy medieval time period. That's my favorite series that does that. What is your favorite aspect of the SCA? Actually, that's simpler. The people themselves. Because you can have all the costuming and you have a seamstress shop. You can have all the crafts and, and stuff and all you have is is that you can have the combat which is martial arts but the only thing that makes it all work together are the people enjoying each other's company and doing things for each other working together so it's the people themselves now along those same lines what is your least favorite aspect of the SCA and how could it be improved the people no <laughs> the, the, my least favorite aspect sometimes is the is the failings and the, and sometimes losing sight of what the core of what we're here for. Because some people get too wrapped up in the the importance of the the authenticity, which is important, but at, and get too wrapped up in the fighting, this is what we are, or this aspect of that's and they get too focused, narrowed. The more and and that's the least favorite thing I have because Without the knights, there's nothing. Well, yes, but there would be no knights if there wasn't everything else to support them. So that's my least favorite aspect, sometimes how it gets too focused. Okay, but how would you improve that right there? How would I improve it? Just do the best I can to do what I do. See it on, and eventually, more, hopefully, more people will see the, the wider focus of everything. You know, yes, knight, the fighting is important. I don't disagree with it, but it's, there's, all of the other aspects are just as part of it. They're all pieces of a puzzle. If you take out one piece, it's not complete. What is your most pressing SCA project? I mean, besides getting everybody off the land by 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon and probably sleeping for a week afterward. My most pressing SCA project? I don't have one. I have a lot of things I want to do, but I don't have nothing that's pressing. You know, one day I'd like to have a period pavilion. i like to actually, ever, after my 20 years, i like to actually buy a sword. I've never bought a sword. The one that, that said, take me home. So those type of things, but pressing, nothing's pressing. Okay. Nothing is that important except having fun with it, that it's that pressing. My lady, you're dragging. Um, what is your best SCA moment? 
the one that basically said it can't get any better than this. You know what? That's easy. There are some fun ones, but the best one is the one that leaves the chills in the back of your neck. Uh, Australia 4. We were out here. I was coming down for the Porter Johns because we still were out, the, I mean the privies. And it was an early morning and there was a low fog. So all you saw were tops of tents and flags, no parking lot, nothing. And I'm coming down from this port, this privy here and over the hill I come and there's a lady walking with a bucket of water and a, dog's, and a dog is barking and she's got a pail of water. That's it. Because all you see the banners that everything else is gone. And there you are a thousand years ago. And that put chills on my neck. That's my best SCA moment. Okay. Then the freaking fog cleared up. Oh well. If you were king for a day, what would you do? King for a day. King Yehuda the first. Your will is law as long as it's subject to corpora and mundane law. Well, okay, trying to escape, other than trying to escape those trying, wishing to hang me, if I was king for a day, I have no idea. Most important thing was just to try to get the people to recognize that helping each other is the most important thing to me, the most important thing we got. That's what it boils down to. It's, it's, there's, it's too ethereal. There's nothing you can do in one day, except, you know what I would do if I was king for a day? I'd be exactly what I've been. Nothing okay. different. And uh, I've got a mystery question here. What is your favorite food, and do you have a recipe of said food? Something that... Uh, My favorite food mm -hmm. is a German dish called Rouladen. Mm -hmm. I do have a recipe for it. My grandmother used to make it. It's very time-consuming. That my mom only made it for me on my birthdays, so I get it very rarely. But my favorite dish is a German dish called Rolade or Rolladen. And usually I ask a bonus question, and this is the last one, and it's just something that uh, I either pick up from what I know about the person or about uh, you know people that know them or stuff around that they're doing, or from the interview itself. And we're very slow on the move. It's scary. My my question is is since I have been coming to Australia which has been a while because I've been here since Australia 8 and only missed one. But anyway, you have been here with a headset on and moving around and doing security or God knows what else and everything. Do you ever sleep? Yes. <laughs> but I don't say where and I don't say when. <laughs> no, I I will go 